Kennedy Japan had been talking about uh, uh, about Asen. So he had gone to the constituency to mount a campaign against him and had, said, had alleged corruption against him. He had alleged that he is in the business of selling government houses in his capacity as works and housing minister for private developers and pocketing their money. It was very, very unwholesome. Statements came out from works and housing, etc., etc. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But then all of this fracas then culminated into a worship challenge between the two candidates on voting morning, a worship challenge. Have a look at Asensu leading the charge and how his opponent responded, using the same gospel song, changing the words, one to be pro, one to be anti. This is how it happened. <laughs> all right, all right. I like the guy's song. He said, One tema na obeye. One tema na obeye. Eradia kase obeye. One tem. Anyway, so this was, uh, this, this contest now became a big deal because one of the important people in the MPP had weighed into it. His brother is running. His brother here, Kennedy Japan's brother here, honorable, a nice gentleman lawyer, is running. And so Kennedy came in and alleged that Asensu had uh, taken government bungalows and sort of put them out for sale, sold it. Okay. So the story became a media story. Now I'm coming back onto something. And I often hear people, especially people abroad, they call me and they ask me that, Charlie, this is your program. People are complaining about it. I said, what is happening? What are they complaining about? I said, they are complaining that you defend government too much. I said, but it is not true. They should say what I have said, which is untrue. And I'm always at labor to sort of explain that everything I've said here is true. This issue about defending government means what? And it has been assumed that once a person is a journalist, he ought to be against government. That's okay, no problem. But you can, the fact that government has done something or government is being discussed, it doesn't mean that a journalist should always be against government, even when government is doing something right. Even when the propaganda against government is, 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 is not true. Even when the journalist story against government is untrue. And I've also been accused of, of uh, attacking other journalists. You say that Manasseh's work is crass. I've been using that word all the time. I was delighted with this, this uh, narrative developed by Samson Ladia Yenini of Joy FM of all places. Joy FM of all places, they say that they are independent media, they don't, they don't praise government, they are after government and all of that. I have not understood it, but it's a position they are entitled to take. Because I think that a journalist looks at the matter and makes a determination, same way that a judge does. And you can take your opinion one way or the other. And if journalism has conducted work, and that work is crass, we have to say it as it is. Here is something, Ladi, of Joy FM and News File, my good friend, now defending the position that Asensu took on the matter of redeployment, redevelopment against Kennedy Japan. And something, Ladi, is criticizing the work of journalists. Something they said is only Paul Adumachi who does and he shouldn't be doing it. Something they say, oh, as for Paul Adumachi every day, a minister does something, Cecilia Dapa goes to steal money, and Paul Adumachi is defending him. Uh, how Akum Singh cannot speak English, Paul Adumachi is defending her. Uh, uh, any minister does something, as for Akufado, if you go and say it, yeah, that one dear Basa, Paul Adumachi will mount his touch screen. And all that Paul Adumachi says is true, by the way. Nothing up till today has been proven to be untrue. We are coming to Kisia Jabe. Our fight with Isla Dapa has now ended. We have won. We are coming to show you why. Now, Samson Ladi goes on a tangent in fierce defense of Asensu's position, which I agree with. Asensu's position is correct. I I read a statement from the Works and Housing. He's not stealing anything. He's not stealing government bungalows. That's not what he's doing. He is ensuring, as has been a policy that he has inherited, to be sure that space is used in a certain way that is profitable to the state. 
and to the state actors who need these bungalows. Fundamentally, that's what Asensu is doing. That's what re redevelopment is about. But it was said that he was stealing. I know that he wasn't stealing. Joe FM, Samson Ladi now comes and says Asensu was not stealing at all and that the journalist's work was crass. Listen. Irresponsible journalism can be costly. Some media ran to press minutes after the Asen Central MP alleged that the Minister for Housing, Francis Asen Subwachi, and former Chief Justice, Kwesi Eninye Bua, had engaged in some corrupt conduct over a bungalow for Justice Samuel Mafosau after his death in August 2021. The indecent haste to give currency to the allegation was as shameful as it was most unprofessional because the allegation was one that was easily verifiable but not verifying put those spreading it and media houses at risk of defamation suits they simply cannot defend. Now even if as later explained by his brother and lawyer Raphael Ejapong who is seeking to wrestle the Bantama constituency from the minister was true that the concern was lack of concern from the judiciary to take over the property that was also very easily verifiable just by a phone call it was the height of reckless journalism to publish such defamatory comments by a man seeking votes for his brother without the basic checks required by the ethics, natural justice, and common sense. I train journalists on these issues, and I know too well that no journalism school teaches this kind that tarnishes the practice generally. I defend journalists, but don't come calling me, not even for the frequent free legal advice when you are induced or decide on your own to be this unprofessional. Apologize now to mitigate what those affected may do. You know, they can sue just anyone, any entity or group of persons spreading the false claims. Joy News Checks brought up this February 2023 agreement between the Judicial Service and the Ministry of Works and Housing. It was an agreement to pull down four of those small houses sitting on large tracts of land into 20 modern houses. The judge's house is one of two allocated by the ministry to the service for superior court judges. Upon completion, that should include... So yes, that, that was something. We just cut that short. So... This is Samson Ladi of Joy FM mounting a defense for a government minister, Bantamas Asensu Boachi. So, so I'm looking at it in two angles. Now, I've not finished with the parliamentary, the big winners of, of, of Saturday. I'm coming, I'll come back. After Asensu, I'll take, I'll take one last big winner from Central Region. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you who it is. It's a big winner from Central, a very, very big winner from Central Region. Everyone said that he was going to lose, uh, but he won. I'll come to that in a minute. But... Here's, here's Asensu's uh, situation. Bantam Asensu Boache is the minister. And he's been accused of corruption. When we do these things here and say that this accusation of corruption is, is wrong, it's crass, the work that the journalist did was poor. We have been accused of defending government. This is something Ladi in. This is not Paul Adamosh. Now, why is he doing that? He's doing that because the facts are so clear. When you look at the facts and they are clear, and Cecilia Dapa has done nothing wrong, the fact that everybody wants to hang Cecilia Dapa doesn't mean that as a news media, we shouldn't interrogate the facts and be able to say that it looks like she's done something wrong, everything points to that because of the hula baloo, but here are the facts, she has not done anything wrong. That she's a government minister, then means that you are stomach journalist, you are chess journalist, football, all the names they call me over the years, stomach journalist, da, 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 da. 
Because we are interrogating facts. That's what journalism is about, isn't it? It's about the interrogation of facts so that you can present a view and the view you present must be sustainable intellectually. If it's not sustainable intellectually, it will blow out of the cover. So whatever view you present as a journalist after you have interrogated the facts should be sustainable intellectually. It's backbone. The narrative that you present, the backbone thereof must be intellectual. That's the point, evidence-based and intellectual. Once you're able to do that, they will not be able to come to say that what you said was wrong or what you said was not well-researched. And so they will say when they are frustrated that you are a stomach journalist, which is okay. That's what Asensu did. Listen to some of the language that Asensu used to describe the media. Uh, sorry, listen to some of the language that Samson Ladi used to describe the media. Listen. It was the height of reckless journalism to publish such defamatory comments by a man seeking votes for his brother without the basic checks required by the ethics, natural justice, and common sense. I train journalists on these issues, and I know too well that no journalism school teaches this kind that tarnishes the practice generally. I defend journalists. But don't come calling me, not even for the frequent free legal advice when you are induced or decide on your own to be this unprofessional. Apologize now to mitigate what those affected may do. <laughs> you see, when you're a child of God, you'll be vindicated. This is Samson Ladi you are watching. It's not Paul Adamotti you are watching. Oh. I don't have red background. That's for multimedia. My background is blue, and then it's NDC, and it's MPP, and it's very nice and welcoming. And I'm not saying this is not nice and welcoming, please. I'm just talking about mine. I said this is red. Mine is blue. In addition to being blue, it's nice. It's welcoming. You have the legal skill. My spectacles is here beautifully. And then you have a screen that I can write on. It's so nice. Beautiful. Okay, so what you just saw is not Paul Adumoche, it's something like the Ayinini of Joy FM, the home of independent. Oh, they have a beautiful line, I've forgotten. The home of independent, fearless. Yes, I like the fearless part. The home of independent, fearless, something, something journalism. That's something like the defending the position of the government minister, Akufuado's minister. Is he wrong? No, he's not wrong. Is he doing journalism? Yes, he's doing journalism. Is it good for him to be critical of other journalists' work? Yes, indeed it is. It is good for him to be critical of other journalists' work. When you take a, a, a ruling from the high court and you take it to the court of appeal and the court of appeal read it and they want to write their judgment, they can be critical of the high court judge. It's always in the law books. They will say that the learned trial judge lost sight of this. The da, da, da. learned trial judge did a bad job. The learned trial judge so, so and so and so. That is checks and balances. Montesquieu wrote about it in 1778 in a book entitled Esprit le Loire. It is checks and balances, but they accuse Paul Adumoche. Samson Ladi is right there doing it as well. He's defending government. Samson Ladi, is he a stomach journalist? No, he's not. Is he a great journalist? Yes, he is. He's defending government. So does he make him stomach journalist? No. Was Asensu right? Yes, Asensu was right. And Asensu won. So I, I, I needed to use this opportunity to sort of look at it. Look at this matter. Look at this event. Look at this conversation that they've been having about the style of journalism, critical of journalists and always defending government positions.